another Margot Robbie transformation tutorial. I had so much fun last year doing the Naomi look from the date scene and I decided to do this blue dress. It was requested and I found online you can buy a replica of that dress but it never came to me. So I found this one thrifting and I think it's a pretty good fit. And once I saw it online, like I found it um, on Poshmark, I was like, okay, it's time to do this tutorial. And this is one of my favorite summer looks. So if you enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more pop culture tutorials every week. And typically I jump right into the makeup, but for this video, I'm starting with my brown hair and pale skin and we're gonna do a spray tan. So Mind Tan sponsored a portion of this video. This is an Australian company and this product is so cool. So this is the Bronze Babe Personal Spray Tan Kit. This is what it looks like and I spray tanned myself. It was very easy. This is super light and I spray tanned my boyfriend as well. It was a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing my tanning process. I didn't get any of those annoying streaks or anything. So I'm a big fan of this. And if you wanna check it out, there is a link down below in the description and you can use code Jackie25 for 25% off the site. But let's just get into the demo so you can see how I got this natural color. Back to my brunette hair, I've put it up in a bun and I'm wearing a sports bra tucked into a bra because I did not trust my bikini tops when I'm moving around. And this is the Bronze Babe Personal Spray Tan Kit and I'll show you everything that comes in here. The Coconut Water Pro Mist Mini, smells really good and we have a super soft applicator mitt. This is lighter than most hair dryers so it's not an exhausting experience to move the little machine up and down. You definitely want to read through the instructions, so before plugging in, I'm taking apart the top from the bottom by pressing the button at the back, then unscrewing the cup and making sure the little rubber duct inside is pinched so the um, little slit is open and air can flow through. And then to get the tan machine going, you press down on the button by your hand and you should feel it a little bit wet on your skin. The formula is 100% vegan, PETA approved, and cruelty free, and you can control the amount of air flowing through the levels of mist control. So Margot Robbie in The Wolf of Wall Street wasn't super tanned, but had a sun-kissed glow. So I went with three for airflow, and then I built up to a five when I got a bit more comfortable with the machine, but you can go all the way to eight and get a really deep tan. Spraying out is an ultra fine mist, and you can see it's not super streaky. You get a lot of control, especially around your wrists and your face, because you can soften up the airflow by swiftly airbrushing over these areas rather than trying to blend in with the mousse. Let me know in the comments if you do get spray tans. I used to because I lived near a spray tan place in Canada, but they did get very expensive. So if you love them, the Bronze Bay retails for $99. So within three spray tans, it's already paid for itself. And with my promo code Jackie25, the machine is $75. I love how the tan develops. It gets a bit warmer, which you'll see in a second, and it's not a drying formula, so your skin looks healthy and radiant. And I've been loving the Rare Beauty Primer. It's hydrating, pore filling, and look, my wrists are not blotchy at all, like they usually are from Tanner. I love Rare Beauty for skin makeup. I'm gonna use the foundation all over the skin. I use a small amount so that it looks very fresh, and with Self Tanner, I usually go lighter with foundation because I really don't need anything high coverage because Tanner already evens out the skin. And my favorite concealer for highlighting is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer from Too Faced. I'm applying to my chin, jawline, bringing up those cheekbones, and I'm also brightening underneath my eyes and a bit on my forehead. I highly recommend this IT Cosmetics foundation brush. It is hands down my favorite. It is a bit pricey, but I've had it for years. And even though the concealer is pretty high coverage, when I blend it out with this brush, it still looks like skin. So here's a close up. And this is a new product I picked up. It's the Patrick Ta Sculpt Kit and I have the shade Medium. So I'm gonna carve out some Margot Robbie inspired cheekbones with the cream contour shade. And I'm gonna also try to sharpen up my jawline as well as fade the contour up my chin. Other side, and I like this shade. I'm gonna start the nose contour with it, but then I will go a little bit deeper to make it a bit more snatched. And I've been using the Benefit Professional Super Setting Makeup Blasting Spray, which is an essential for the weather as it's heating up little bit of powder to set. This is my favorite drugstore powder from Revlon. And then I'm gonna go back in with the contour kit from Patrick Ta and use the bronzer. It does give a bit more depth, um, but you wanna go with a lighter hand if you're gonna wear this makeup for like in person or every day. Brows, super quick and easy, combing upwards. And then with the benefit, precisely my brow in the shade 3.5, I'm defining the bridge and tail and softly fading in the front. And of course, can't forget the nose contour. 
two little divots creating more of a structured and higher nose bridge, and then create two lines in a diagonal meeting to the tip of the nose where we create a small line across and then fade downwards onto the tip. I like to blend out with my finger and of course you can always skip this step but this is how I make myself look a bit more like Margot Robbie. And then with the Too Faced Natural Face Palette, this one smells so good, I always go back to it, I'm surprised I haven't hit pan yet, I'm mixing the pink and the deeper shade and applying on the apple of the cheeks. Normally I'd be applying higher up the cheekbone, it really lifts the face, but for this one it looks more sun-kissed and bringing through the center also hollows out my plumper cheeks a bit. There really isn't a wrong way how to do makeup, just whatever you prefer for your face. And then I'm mixing two highlights from this palette. One has a golden sheen and the other has a pink iridescent reflect to it. So I'm applying with my finger. You could also go with Spotlight Highlight from Charlotte Tilbury, but I wanted to switch it up because I use that one in like every video. Took the same bronzer through my crease and under my bottom lash line. And I decided to go with the Revlon So Fierce Eyeshadow Palette. These look so funky and my dress is a bit more teal than the cobalt blue from the movie. I love a good drugstore palette. I'm taking the light satin taupey shade all over the lid. And then with the deeper shade in the palette, I'm taking this in a small winged out shape on the very outer portion of the eye and dragging it under the lash line as well. Love how easily these two shades blend together. I also added more depth in the inner corner. This is soft, but it really elongates the eye. And for that tiny bit of blue, I decided to take that teal and pat it on the outer corner. I noticed there was a pop of blue in a lot of Naomi's scenes, so I'm sure I did that in the very first Naomi tutorial. Let me know how long you guys have been subscribed for. And then add a pop of lightness in the inner corner. I took the Revlon Matte Powder on the brow bone to lighten it up, and what's so funny is I don't even really like the movie <laughs> Wolf of Wall Street. Probably seems like I'm so obsessed with it because I've done three Naomi looks over three or four years, but I just love her looks. I love the styling, um, love Margot Robbie, but I don't drink. I don't like drugs, and I don't like movies that feel like I'm watching like a boys club thing, so count me out. But anyways, back to this amazing and iconic look I'm grabbing for the Too Faced Killer Liner. I love um, their shade range for these, and this off black shade is one I grab for a lot. Dragging it in the inner corner and outer portion of the waterline, and then I'm fading over the top lash line and smoking out, and also smudge under the bottom lash line at the very outer corner. This makes such a difference with that smoldering shape. And my eyes are very round, but if your eyes are more almond shaped anyways and you want them to look more round or bigger, I would skip adding in the liner directly on the waterline, but bring it underneath instead. Just got this Lancome mascara, love this packaging, and I'm gonna give it a go. I really like um, curved brushes with plastic bristles, and I don't think I've ever seen Margot Robbie with false lashes, so just a coat of mascara will help finish off this eye look. And you could go with waterproof mascara, I like um, Too Faced waterproof, better than sex mascara, if you're looking for a summer mascara. Wow, said mascara a lot there. <laughs> and then for lips, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Medium. I'm overlining my top lip, bringing the cupid's bow a bit closer and rounder together. And then I'm overlining my bottom lip as well. For the lip shade, it looked different in different um, lighting shots, so you can go with more of a matte berry shade. I would fill in your lips with a lip liner and then blot it off so it's super comfortable and wears for a long time. Or if you want it to be a bit more summery and fresh, you could go with a lip balm. So this is by Charlotte Tilbury, and I love how the shade really pops. And of course, we can't forget the pop culture password, which is a simple quote from Naomi, I want a divorce. Comment down below and let me know which Naomi look you like better, the summery pool party look or the sexy date night look. And in the description bar below, see all the products used from my Mind Tan Bronze Babe machine to all the makeup. And I added some similar dresses to shop, though this one is thrifted, so I can't link the exact one, but I did find some good options. These glasses, by the way, are Dolce & Gabbana. They're a pretty good fit to Naomi's. And I have another pair from Valeria's company, Leia and they're so cute and I just couldn't find them so my boyfriend ran out and got these ones and they were so expensive and I was like okay you know what I'll put them in my hair and then I'll take them back and then I sprayed hairspray so looks like these ones are mine now and they were so expensive <laughs> oh well at least for me because I don't buy expensive sunglasses so anyways I really committed to this look and I hope you guys enjoyed it and as always I love it when you tag me in your photos so I can feature you in my videos forgot to do that at the beginning there but you guys look amazing and if you want to keep on 
watching for summer inspired looks. Oh, let me know if you want to see an updated aquamarine look because this kind of gives me those vibes. And also you can check out the Wolf of Wall Street date night makeup look because it is a little bit different and super glamorous. Or if you like vintage vibes, I did this Brooke Shields inspired hair tutorial and you get big fluffy 80s waves with no heat. You just use scrunchies. So be sure to check it out and I'll see you in my next video.